Hey guys, All In Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. Today we're going to be discussing an altcoin that I am personally going to be absolutely aping into during this bear market. In actual fact, um, we didn't hold a lot of this specific token last bull market and I will not be making that same mistake this one. So we're going to be discussing the token. This is in no way mean shape or form a shill. I have no affiliation with Binance and I am not telling you to buy it. What I am saying is that I'm buying it and here are the reasons why. Now I know many people out there have an issue with Binance. Um, for one example, one thing that is always levied against it is its decentralization. I think there is under 30 validators and it has a very high threshold um, to actually become a validator. So there is lots of argument that Binance Coin, BNB, um, is very centralized from that aspect. Also in terms of uh, token issuance and, and, and you know, the allocation or the dis uh, distribution, I should say, of the tokens, it's very concentrated towards the top end. But you will actually find that with many um, cryptocurrencies, even Bitcoin, for example, the majority of tokens are held by the few. You know, this is kind of how life um, works. Um, but I do get the criticism that's le levied against it. But this is coming from a purely investment perspective, not a philosophical one. Yes, I believe in decentralization. But you've got to ask yourself, does a blockchain need to be decentralized to work and to be potentially a good investment? This is from a purely investment thesis. Um, however, some of the fundamentals that Binance does have will play into this. Because, you know, you're always going to, even if a chart looks great, you're always going to have a higher probability of being right if the fundamentals um, actually align with what potentially the price action is telling you. So without further ado, guys, let's get into it. We are going to look at Binance in terms of its price. I am not a buyer here, however. We said we would buy in this bear market. I do not believe that the bear market is over. For those of you that want to try and kind of navigate uh, my thoughts on the cryptocurrency market, where we are with it and where we're potentially heading. My daily cryptocurrency market updates are well worth a watch. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and watch out for those. Um, we are also going to be looking at Binance against other tokens. So we're going to be looking at Binance market dominance. Now, this is a very healthy looking chart, um, even though we're in a bear market. Uh, and we're actually going to look at Binance against Bitcoin. Look at how much Binance has sold off relative to our altcoins. Uh, and of course, I'll explain the reasons why I'm actually very bullish from an investment point of view on Binance. So let's just start by taking a look at where the coin is. It's fourth in terms of market cap. Now, for a coin that is fourth in terms of market cap, I, it does definitely have a, a, a big community, but not as big a community as, you know, some of its competitors like Ethereum or like Cardano or Solana or uh, Avalanche, you know, I feel like those communities have a lot more zealousness to them. Whereas Binance and BNB token, I don't feel like it has a massive uh, community behind it. Um, however, it is fourth in terms of market cap and it's fourth in my opinion for a reason. It has great tokenomics, what you'd want to see in terms of scarcity going up from an investment point of view. Um, and it also is, for all intensive purposes, an Ethereum, a Solana, a Cardano, a AVAX Phantom competitor. It is a layer one smart contract blockchain where you can build dApps, uh, decentralized applications on top of it. So it has that demand factor. And in actual fact, whereas we've seen with a number of other blockchains like Solana, not to pick on Solana, um, it's ran very well in terms of... Um, blockchain production or block production i should say it, it's not it's never really had an outage like we have seen with other or really many hiccups since it, it it came about now binance coin existed before the smart chain and the smart chain is like an added bonus that also you know the bnb coin is the uh, just like on ethereum's ecosystem or uh, cardano's or solana's bnb is the the, the sort of um, preferred collateral the the main utility token Anyway, that's enough of me rambling on. Let's start by taking a look at BNB and what it is. Um, we will use Binance's official website. They, Binance put together some really educational content. Um, you know, a lot of it to do with how we use an exchange, which of course the BNB token is partnered with. And we'll find that out when we look at some of the benefits of holding BNB. So BNB Smart Chain BSC is best described as a blockchain that runs in parallel to the BNB Beacon Chain 
Unlike BNB Beacon Chain, BSC boasts smart contract functionality and capability with the Ethereum virtual machine. So the EVM is the language or the um, toolkit that they use. This, of course, really Binance came along and capitalized and Binance Smart Chain came along and capitalized off of Ethereum short fallings in regards to fees and so on and so forth. So the design goals here was to leave the high throughput of BNB Beacon Chain um, intact while introducing smart contract into its ecosystem. So the BNB Beacon Chain actually at one point was built on top of Cosmos. Cosmos is another, and go and watch my video from two days ago, guys, um, altcoin that I am extremely excited about. So in essence, both blockchains operate side by side. It's worth nothing that BSC isn't a so-called layer two off uh, or off-chain uh, scalability solution. It's an independent blockchain that could run even if BNB Beacon Chain went offline. That said, both chains bear a strong resemblance from a design standpoint. So Binance Smart Chain is, for all intensive purposes, basically just the arm of um, BNB, uh, the Binance Beacon Chain, but it is its own independent layer one, not layer two blockchain. So it is for all intensive purposes, an Ethereum, an ADA, a Solana, um, you know, a Polkadot competitor in terms of allowing people to build um, on top. So because BSC is EVM compatible, it launched with support from a rich universe of Ethereum tools and dApps. In theory, this makes it easy for developers to port their projects over from Ethereum for users. Um, it means the applications like MetaMask can easily configure to work with the BSC, Binance Smart Chain. Seriously, it's just a matter of tweaking a couple of settings and you can check that out over here. So how does BNB Smart Chain work? So BNB Smart Chain achieved a three second blockchain with proof of stake consensus algorithm. Specifically, it uses something called proof of stake authority or POSA. Probably one of the reasons they have so few delegators, by the way, just as a quick point, uh, where participants state BNB to become validators. If, the propose, if, they, if they propose a valid block, they'll receive transaction fees from the transaction included in it. So how you get essentially an APY for holding Binance is actually through the fees. It's around about six, 7%, um, not an inflation of the supply. And in actual fact, Binance's supply is extremely um, deflationary. And we will get onto that when we look at the sort of burn mechanism and just how much Binance has already been burned. Note that unlike many protocols, there is no block sub subsidy or freshly minted bnb as bnb is not inflationary on the contrary the supply of bt uh, btb b and b decreases over time as the binance team regularly conducts coin burns and we'll get into that they did just burn quarterly now they burn within every transaction it's also got cross-chain uh, capability which we love to see uh, and it talks about decentralized finance so the building of dApps there is criticism that Binance isn't decentralized, and I do understand that and have looked into it extensively. Um, however, again, this is from a purely investment thesis. Some of the benefits from holding BNB, so this all tokens uh, factors into its utility. I think actually out of most... So Binance has the utility of something like Ethereum or Solana in, re in regards to it being the kind of mainframe of the DAP ecosystem that's building on top of it. But it has... Not just that utility, it has utility from Binance, which I think is still the largest exchange in the world in regards to you can get, we'll go through them right now. Benefits of BNB, use BNB to pay for goods and services. So it has a monetary aspect, just like Ethereum, just like Bitcoin in some senses. Um, settle transaction fees on Binance Smart Chain, participants in exclusive token sales and more. You can learn more about um BNB. So on spot trading fees, you can save up to 25% with this. Save even more on trading fees by qualifying for our VIP program, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you can also save on margin trading and you can save 10% uh, on future trading. So it has benefits to hold. It also has benefits within its own ecosystem. It has that monetary aspect. Uh, and unlike pretty much every other blockchain, it's actually deflationary in nature and the fees come from, and the fees are pretty good from the... Um, the actual transactions or, or the, the APY, the inflation, it's not in the inflation model, the APY comes from transactions, not the actual um, market cap 
or supply inflating. So this is Binance's um, ecosystem. The Binance Smart Chain ecosystem has $5.4 billion in it. And it's huge, guys. And these guys have been running pretty much without a hiccup um, since day one. You know, they've done very well. And I think that has a lot to do with their aspects of being centralized in certain areas, but they, they, they do very well. And lots of the validators are extremely big players in the crypto space. You can see here, guys, look how many, you know, we're getting to what? Nearly 500 just listed on DeFi Llama. So it has huge demand from that perspective. It's easy to use. It's Ethereum. You know, again, they really capitalized on Ethereum shortfallings and kind of said, okay, will we MetaMask compatible? So on and so forth. Um, we spoke a little bit about the burn. So you can come over to bnbburn.info and you can see the total burn. So burn in the last seven days, you only have 15,000. Now, most people don't even understand how big the supply. The supply originally started off at 200 million BNB. It's now at 161 million. Okay, now that is continuing to decrease, not go up. So if you get to 100 million, you know that you're going to have significantly less supply. Remember, Bitcoin supply is nearly at 20 million. Now, I'm not saying BNB is going to go to 65K or, you know, anything like that. But I am saying there's, there, there's real good tokenomics behind it from a scarcity point of view uh, and also real utility. So you've got this kind of engine, if you will. You've got the combustion there and the fuel. Um, to get BNB moving when this bull market turns, or when this bear market, sorry, turns around. So you can see out of the total supply, this is the amount that's been burnt. You've had 38, basically 39 million BNB burnt, and there is 161 million left. It talks about um, essentially what happens here. So it's calling out what is BNB. How does BNB work? BNB or BNB burn work? BNB uses an auto burn system. Bear with me one second, guys. We'll make that a bit larger, larger for anybody wanting to read it on screen. So BNB uses an auto burn system to reduce the total supply to uh, 100,000. So that's what they're aiming for, 100,000 BNB. The BNB auto burn mechanism adjusts the amount of BNB to be burned based on BNB's price and the number of blocks generated on BNB Smart Chain BSC during the quarter. This offers greater transparency and predictability to the BNB community. So you can essentially see what the burn rate is set out as. So they're very transparent in terms of their token supply. So already we've shown you that this blockchain has real utility, not just on the largest exchange in the world. And remember, it's tied to the largest exchange. They have a vested interest in seeing it succeed. And as crypto grows, as Binance grows and, and continues to hold a, a lion's share, really, um, you know, they're going to put forward their token. Um, and I do think that a lot of what Binance is also doing as well is furthering crypto adoption generally. You know, they're bringing crypto cards to places that don't even have banking. BNB potentially is going to play a role in all of this, and they're certainly going to champion it to do so. So let's talk about the price. Um, BNB is at 291 dollars it has a market cap of 46 billion now that is a lot um there's no 46 billion dollars is a lot but in my opinion crypto is going to get to the tens of trillions in terms of a market cap not bnb specifically the entire market cap of crypto so the entire lump sum of money in crypto bnb there's no reason it can't get to 100 in fact it was basically there um at the top of last bull market. There's no reason it can't get back to 100 billion, 200 billion, 300 billion, 400 billion. You know, do the math. A 5K BNB token with its current supply, not counting the burn, I think is around about 800 billion. Which seems crazy, but in a world where the, you know, fiat systems just continue to inflate, scarcity of BNB goes down and potentially we've not even seen the start of its use case. I'm not calling for five, uh, uh, 5K, but what I am saying is, is it out of the realms of possibility? I don't think so. I think this is a coin that is going to do very, very well. Um, forget, leave your biases at the door in terms of decentralization or not. You know, at the end of the day, are you buying a cryptocurrency because you believe in it? And there are cases that I think that's the case. You know, certainly for Bitcoin, a lot, a lot of the sort of Bitcoiners are buying Bitcoin because they believe in it over the fiat systems. So there is that aspect. But if you're buying crypto as an investment, should your biases really come into it? Question for you guys. Let me know um, in the comment section. So it's down 
from all time high, which was around about seven hundred and four dollars. It's down fifty eight percent. Now, even Bitcoin. Let's take the drawers off here, guys, because I might have some of my open trades on. Um, even Bitcoin is down more than BNB. Ethereum is down more than BNB. One thing, and if we look at certain coins, um, you know, they're down 80 plus percent. Let's choose Phantom, not to pick on Phantom. Ooh, that is a nasty looking chart. BNB looks a lot better. If, I, if you had a gun to my head and made me choose, it would be BNB. So it's actually done a lot better in terms of the percentage it's sold off. So it's proven itself as a better store of value than the others. If you look at it in terms of dominance, it's gone up. Look at this. This is beautiful. I would be buying this if, if this was the price. And if you look at it in terms of Bitcoin, very similar story. I told you at the start of this video that this was not a shill by any means, shape or form. And I'm not saying or telling you to buy Binance. What I'm saying is take a look at it. And as investors, would you buy it? Do you think, can you see that the utility is there? Can you see that the fundamentals are there? Can you see that, you know, from a chart perspective, okay, we're not buyers here in terms of um, at these levels. But if you look at it cross crypto, it, it you you know, and you only had crypto to trade, you would say it would, would be a buy because it's actually held up very well. So just some food for thought. Um, you know, I'm not calling for a 5k, like I say, Binance, but I'm saying I think it's going to do well. I think it's at least going to get back to um, 700. So the cheaper I can get this for, the better. Up to you guys what you do. We share lots of coins just like this and do lots of analysis on my Patreon. For anybody that's interested, there is a link in the description. And of course, as always, let me know what you thought about this video. Leave a like if you can. It really helps with the algorithm. Uh, and hit that subscribe button if you're not already for daily cryptocurrency content. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Have a wonderful Wednesday.